A new add-in has been introduced into FeatureCam 2016R3, which provides the ability to perform facing operations using a spiral type toolpath. This user-defined feature benefits from the ability to automatically detect whether a circular or rectangular spiral would be better suited to the stock geometry, as well as high levels of toolpath customization. So here you can see we have a sealant ring model, and you can see that we have one feature already predefined. This is a traditional facing operation, and if I run a 2D simulation here, you can see that we have a significant amount of fresh air cutting, and the tool is also engaging into the material at an undesirable angle, which will cause tool wear and significantly reduce tool life. By navigating to the Details tab, you can see that this toolpath will take 3 minutes and 54 seconds. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to exit this simulation, enter into Options and Add-ins, and I'm going to load the Spiral Face Adding using the library and simply searching for UDF. Once loaded, I'll be able to enter into the new feature wizard and create a user-defined feature. And at this point, I'm presented with a variety of different options. I can define whether I want to use climb milling. And I can also define the toolpath type. And I have three options here. I can let the macro add-in automatically determine the shape. Or I can select whether I want a rectangular or circular type spiral. I'm going to leave this as automatic. And I can also set whether I want to use Smooth Entry, which will use an arc to enter into the material. I can also define the lead out type, length and angle, as well as select a stock curve, which will limit the facing feature to a pre-created curve. At this point, I'm happy with these settings, so I can simply press Finish. One variable I am going to change is if I enter into the facing operation and the milling tab, I'm going to define a 75% last pass overcut. This is just to ensure that all the material is removed during this face feature. At this point, I can deselect the traditional facing feature and simply run a 2D simulation. And as you can see, the tool is using a circular spiral to face this particular part. Now, by entering into the Details tab, you can see that this spiral facing feature takes 1 minute and 32 seconds, which is a saving of over 60% when compared to the traditional facing feature. 